Hi everybody, it's Heidi here, the Yorkshire Crafter. I hope you're well. Um, another bank holiday, again. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the coronation. I actually did watch it all. And I didn't know there were a concert on yesterday, so um, I kind of missed that. But I did go holiday shopping yesterday. So today I'm suffering. I don't think I've stood up that long for a long time. But we're all done. Whatever I need now, I'll just get online. Right, um, before I get started, if you could um, like and subscribe, or if you're already um, a follower, if you could share, it really, really helps me get out there. And I'm trying my best to reach up to a thousand um, subscribers. We're not doing too bad. We're heading towards 750, which is unbelievable on its own. Right, I wanted to do it oh, if you hear snoring, I've got Lexi Dog with me. Um, Rosie's downstairs with Daddy. So it's a nice break, actually. I'd rather put up with snoring. Right. I wanted to do a wreath. And I've done about four or five. And every one of them's ended up in bin. So I carried on. And I've ended up with half a wreath. So that's what we're going to do. <coughs> Excuse me. So... I've cut this piece down to five and a half by five and a half. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I don't know what my bases are. I'll just get a base two seconds. Here it is. These are ready cut. Um, my multivarious card and my card bases, these ones are from Lavinia. Um... They are just a little bit bigger. I just wanted to put a bit of colour around the edge. And actually, before we start, I'm going to put the colour around the edge now. So I'm just going around it with a, a little bit of blue. And it's just so... I mean, I could use blue card, but I just wanted that little bit of an edging around it. So we'll just quickly go around that. Only a little bit. And if you look where your card's going to go. Because I'm going to go around with a bit darker as well. So I'm just getting that little bit of colour on edge. I mean there's all sorts. People use the, um, the gilding. Um, oh dear. What they're called. I have them and I'll wait a minute. Polishes, the gilding polish, but I still can't get used to them. But we're all good at different things, aren't we? Can you see that cable? Is that in anybody's way? I'm charging my phone at the same time. Looking forward to the day when I can afford to get just the, you know, the actual camera and. I have my phone outside of me because there's things I want to show you now and I can't show you because they're on my phone. Right. Those are all to new, by the way. They're absolutely brilliant. I keep two outside of me, one for pink and one for blue. They really are good. If you're doing a, a you know, a big area and I'm just quickly going to glitter on it I knew I would I'm just quickly gonna um, edge it up this is what I'll be doing on the actual card blank as well so I just thought it'd be a nice you know like a step down the one that I've just practiced on I did a glittered edge and I don't like it I mean, it's lovely. It's a card that'll go out. But I think I just prefer the ink rather than the glittered edge. I'll have to find a use for doing things with glitters because I've got all kinds of glitters. And it's not something I use. That will do nicely. So I know when we come to put it together. That's just exactly how I want it. That's fine. 
Right, let's get on with the main thing. So, I wanted, um, not a, like a vine leaf, I wanted some kind of a different leaf to go around the card. So, I'm cheating and using a stencil to do that bit of leafing. So, because I've already cut this down, I'd prefer it to, we lift it up a bit, to be smack bang in the middle. That way, I'm not bothered about that way, I'd like a bit more down here. So, I'm just very lightly going to give it, go around edges, give it a, like a halo. Don't have to be too dark. Whatever you're doing around here, when it comes to the end, we're going to do the same around the edge of the card. So if you don't want to be spending loads and loads of time doing it, don't make it as dark. Then you'll be able to do it quicker and move that. I knew I should have stuck it down. That'll do. I'm not so bothered about the bottom here. There we go. Clean that off. Done. And then I'm just going to go over the line, darken it up a little bit. There we go. That will do nicely. Right, I'm going to bring in the stencil that I've used. So this is a pretty pink posh. Hey, didn't it tell you what it's called? Oh no, it doesn't. That's oh wait a minute, yeah it does. It is leaves and berries. A bit obvious seeing as though that's what it looks like. So I did cover it up and if you want to do that it's fine but I'm going to try and do it without it because it's a lot of messing about. So I'm firstly, so I want to be, give me a pencil, give me a pencil. Nope, right I'm going to guess. So I want to be about halfway. So this first one, I'm just going to guess around there and that will do nicely. And I'm going to use Lime Punch. I'm also going to use Pine to darken this up and then on my next one I'm going to use Bermuda to darken the pine up. You'll, see, you'll understand, you'll see. Um, where's my little, where's my little brush? There it is. Right. Do you know what? I'm going to put one there. That worked worst bit for me. So, without trying to touch out else, I can't do it, can I? I'm going to touch the berries. all that leaf set in green strange because when I did the second lot I didn't have to use the post-it notes but it looks like better to be safe than sorry yeah I mean, you could use masking tape. I just had these at hand. That's why I ended up using these. And I've got a lot of them. So you're inking up your first one. Where's the hair there? And with the darker, with the smaller brush, Oh, 
I'm going to come in with pine and all I'm doing is doing the stem and just up the middle so it just captures the bottom of the leaves you might not look like you're doing now but you'll see when you take it off that's it all done That's it. So I'm going to try roughly to bring this across and have it more or less the same. That looks pretty good to me. It helps it'll put you straight, wouldn't it? I mean, it doesn't matter if it's not straight. It's just I prefer it to be straight. So I'm going to do the same here. I better do it, aren't I? These are not very sticky now. There we go. It's quick enough, isn't it? So, in the same as last time, colouring it all in. And then you're coming in with the Bermuda, no you're not, pine. From the stem, you just do little twirls because you're just literally catching the end of the leaves. And to be honest, you're not going to see much of it anyway. That will do. So the lime punch is finished. I'm moving that way so I don't get confused myself. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Should have cleaned it first. Doesn't matter, you won't see it. I'm going to give that a wipe over now before I make more of a mess. That'll do. The last thing I want is it wet in my card because that will spoil it. That dry. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Right. So I don't even know which way around there because I never took no notice last time. I have no idea. So that was that. So that must have been that. Oh, that same. Oh, oh, there you go then. So the next one, I want it, the stem to be right in the middle there and still to come up over the leaf we've just done. So I'm going to put that there and just because I'm going to confuse myself I didn't put it on for the, this lot so I don't know I might get away with that so this time we're coming in with pine first I think this one's drying up now. You can tell which colours you use most, can't you? And then to do the same again as we did on the first one, but with a darker colour again, we're using Bermuda. So you're colouring in your stem. And then just little circles so you catch the edge of the leaf. It just gives it that two-tone look. You can do it without putting these extra little bits in. 
I mean, some people won't even notice that you've gone through the time and effort to do it. So you do what's best for you. Rubbish. I'm going to cover it up. Not worried. I'm going to wipe that off. And we're going to do the same other side. So I want the stem to start the same place as that one. And we'll have it there, I think. So covering up a couple of bits. I think when I use the watch palettes. I didn't have to cover it up as much. It's very strange. So let's come down here. It's the only bit you have to do a bit of masking on. And like I say, that's only if you want to. If you trust yourself, go for it without. Never trust myself with a bit of ink. That will do. So I'm coming in with the uh, pine. All over. Come on. Yeah, I need a new ink pad. That should do. And then with the little brush, I'm out of the way. Um, Bermuda on your stem and little circles. For me, that's the most difficult bit done. I didn't do too many mistakes, it's right. Right. So here we're gonna use, you get two um, fern branches in, in a pack and I'm just using the small one. And I'm using Warm Breeze This is, this is the one I was going to use to take all the way around, but I couldn't get it to work. Well, I could have done a bit of vent it, but it just spent a lot of time messing. So I'm taking it from the middle, straight across. So each time you do one, you're going to be opposite way. Um, luckily, it's not a massive, massive difference, so it just makes you look a little different that you've put more into it, I think. Um, we'll go there. There we go. Then I'm going to... not going to do all the stem. So each time I do a little bit now, I cut back a little bit. So you sort of mirroring it, but you're not mirroring it, if that makes sense. So I'm going to second generation that. I'll do the same here. And we're going to put... I've got it all over my hands already. So again, I'm taking it back a little bit further again. And take that one out. Let 
Oh, do. Oh, she's off snoring. I want to take a bit of this. Doesn't matter because I want to put some there as well, but I just really want to. Uh... I think that'll be all there. And then, same little bit again. I think that'll do. I'll take that off. Before I go any further, I'm going to put them. Um, I don't even know why I did this, and I'm still going to do it, but I don't know why I'm doing it. I'm just going to put like a little snow in, but you won't be able to see it either. And I'm going to put it in with, let's go with the blue. So what I'll do then is just cover that whole little bit in. I tried to add it earlier and I'd done it once I'd done some berries so yeah it wasn't that successful. I mean you're not going to see it because I do cover it up. It's just that I know it's there then isn't it. Right now we're going to put some holly in. And I'm using the one pound holly stamp. Um, where's my bigger thing? That's there. I'm going to use this. Now then, I can't remember what colour I used. Let's have a look. I think I went, I think I went dark. Let's have a look. I did. I went dark. So we're using Rainforest. What's a mess at moment, I know. So my idea is, I've got like a little blank space here. So I've put one going that way. I've just realised there's berries on there and I didn't even fill them in on the practice one. That will be sorted. So where my stem is, I'm going to have it touch the other stem and face the middle. So I'm going to go there with it. And I'm going to do exactly the same on this side. So I'm going in that gap again. And I'm going to go there. Again, it's not moving it 100%. So it just looks like you've put more effort into it. Well, it does in my head and then same here stem touching there you go and that's the holler nice and easy take that off i'm going to put is it pine cone the one pound pine cone so i'm going to stamp this up in brown This is where I didn't know if I were making a mistake because I was just been going too far and but I didn't mind it in end up. So I'm gonna put one here. This in that way. And I'm gonna put one here first in that way. I don't know why I'm making it sort of symmetrical, I don't have no idea. But my intention is to do a full wreath and I just can't at the moment. I can't get it can't get it going, I don't know why. This is my next one that I'm part way through having a play with, trying to work around this one and it's still not going anywhere. Right, I've changed my berries this time. And besides that, I can't find the other berry anyway. So these will be filled in with a jelly roll. So 
that for me was the most time consuming. I had to wait. Hmm, I might not. I don't know. We'll see. Right, I'm using Gina K ink because my Versafine is just not dark enough. And I'm using um, Cherry Red. So I'm coming in with one. I'm going to put up here. Like I say, they will be coloured in. They do go redder. I'm coming in up here. I mean, it's up to you how many of these you put in. I am so sorry about her snoring. That's loud. Um, let's just go that way. Yeah. I'm going to take the stem off this one. Because I want it to sit in the middle of them. Make sure there's no stem on it. Once they're coloured in, I think that'll look lovely. I'm not sure whether they do any more, but I mean, you could always do more at the end, can't you? So it's not a problem. Like say, I put her on a bed so she won't vibrate and be as loud. And she just gets louder. Right, where did we go next? Right, now we're going to stamp Lexi. Everybody listening to you. Right, now we're using the large reindeer. Which is this one. And, I mean, I didn't ground him on the other hand. I think maybe I should do because he just looks like he stood on the pine cone. Lexi! Lexi! Oh no, she's well out of it. She's still shattered from yesterday. We took the dogs with us and she's... She's an old lady now, so... She found it hard. Right, just anywhere in the middle. I just hold on to it. I'm going to try and wake her up. Lexi! Who's here? Oh gosh. That normally wakes up. Let's say. <laughs> she doesn't even wake up with your spray with water. She doesn't like rain. Right. And that's coloured in enough for me. A gold, um, I don't know, it's supposed to be a jelly roll pen, but it's not me, not my favorite. I'm just wondering if I could get away with let's color them. What, have I, what else have I got to do? Just a bit of gold. Let's color these cherries in and berries, cherries, and hopefully they'll dry before I have to put it to the card. Like I say, I've used a different stamp this time. Yeah, that's a lot better. And when it is totally dry, I'll also glossy accent these. Even though this is a shiny finish, I think glossy accent just gives it that um, 3D look. I just say if you're not um on our Facebook group, you're more than welcome to come and join. It's Heidi the Ox Crafter. It's for absolutely anything you want to show. The only thing we have is um a no selling. No buying or selling. But um there is a lovely group. I cannot remember what it's called off the top of my head, but it is for swapping or buying and selling um i think it's says pre-loved lavinia but you'll find out if you go on that page um 
one of the admin on ours is also admin on there, I think. So you'll definitely find out. And it's definitely one way of um, getting new stamps, isn't it? Or getting rid of ones that you're not going to use again. <gasps> oh no, look what I did. Well, do you know what? It was getting splattered in gold. I might do it in a bit of red. I'm not even going to try and pick that off. I knew I should have waited till the end. Oh, that's gutting, isn't it? What do I do with that? Um, let's just hope the gold covers it. Yeah, I'm a bit gutted about that. Right, with this gold pen, I literally... Not going to lean over them. Just went on the edge of his antlers just to give it a bit of different colour. Oh, it's really gutting about that. What do I do with that now? I mean, it's not like you have red snow, is it? That was me trying to jump in front. That's what you get for being in a rush. There we go. I'm happy with that. I am splatting it in gold, so I wonder. I'm not bothered about the end ones. I wonder if I just put a bit of... I think this is going to work. That will absolutely cover it up. We'll cover that because it's... I know it's going blue over it. Let me just... Dump them off. Ah, uh, you won't notice now. If I'd have been splatting in white, that wouldn't have covered very well. There we go. Hopefully you won't notice that when it comes to it now. Silly girl. It had to roll straight through them, didn't it? So when they dry, in fact, I'll give them a bit of a blast because I want to put a white dot on them as well. We're nearly done. I won't do the glossy accent now. I'll do that on off camera. Time, yeah, I'll do it off camera. I know it doesn't look much doing that bit of gold there but it really does make a difference what I am going to do which I haven't done was this is where I needed to be careful put a bit of dark in the middle these are pastel pencils and I'm just I'm not doing it to colour in it's just that I'm going to put a bit of white And then when I smudged them together, it, it looked more, you know, not just white, if you know what I mean. I may not have put enough on, but let's have a look. So you might not be able to see it there, but I can see that perfectly. Let's have a look. That looks fine to me. That will do. Apart from I don't like what I've done on his back. Let's have a look. That 
That looks fine to me. Right. I'm going to do the embossing. We're just going to put a, a star here. A lot of powder came out of that. Where's my star? Where is my star? It is. This is the one pound star that I'm using. I'm using Versamark. Just like that, so he's looking up to the star. Oh, that looks my other star went all smudgy. I think I pressed too hard. Let's put that on the side. Using Hero Arts Gold Embossing Powder. That will do. I don't think I should have done a card today. I'm being dead clumsy. Let's have a look at that. There she goes. Right, this time round, I think I'm going to do my blue around the edge first. No, I'm not because I forgot some. Let's see. I want to put on my. This is Winter Magic. These are beautiful words to put on a Christmas card. Don't need that now. So, again, doing Versamark. And I'm literally just going to stamp it anyway. I don't want to touch him, but I want to get as near as I can to him. So I'm going up there. See the side to go in there. And then I'll do one more. And I will use that to stamp in this way. Then I'm going to use some pearl white mica powder and I'm literally just going to wipe it over the writing so you'll barely see it but it stands out fantastic when you've got it in front of you. I don't know if you can see it picking it up. Yeah you can see a little bit. Just wipe that everywhere where you've put your versa mark. Once you've got it all over, you're just going to give it a, a wipe over with kitchen towel. Oh, 
or a cloth. Actually, yeah, I'll use a, a cloth. It's really effective. You can use any mica powders for this. I've got a load. And I can't even remember what I've gone for, but I've got a load. And you'll never, I've, I've got 24, I think, in a pack. I'll never, ever use them, ever. Just clear that off a minute. And get my towel. Where's my towel? There it is. Just with a clean part of my towel, if I've got one. These are clean, but they just don't wash clean now. I'm just going to wipe it over. It doesn't take the powder off, but it takes the loose powder off. I'm risking it a bit then. Hoping my red will be dry. There you go. I love that it catches a bit on him. There you go. I don't, you don't know if you can see it. It's a beautiful effect. I love it. Right. My white marker, and I'm literally just putting a dot on the berries. Yeah, that's fine for me. Right. Right now we're gonna do around the edges. I don't want to do my glitter. Um so look what it look like. Yeah, I'm gonna glitter first. Oh I don't know. Yeah, let's glitter first. It's what I did last time. So I'm putting a little bit of water onto my stamping block. I want a thicker paintbrush. In fact, I can use that same one. Um, this gold paint, it's acrylic paint, it's what I use for metallic gold. I use it for painting my stones. Um, metallic acrylic, actually. So I'm just going to mix a bit of water. I could use my gold Posca pen, but this gold, it's a stunning gold. To me, it's a Christmas gold. I just want to mix any lumps in. I'm going to leave it quite runny and then that way the heat gun should be able to dry it quicker rather than thick. Let's just take this off here. I'm just going to see what it's like. Yep, that's absolutely fine. So I'm literally... I mean, people do it all different ways, but I'm just flicking it on. I want some big bits, some little bits. Hopefully it covers that gold up there where the red was. There's not many big blobs coming out. I want some big ones. Well, why not have him? Oh, there's a couple there. There we go. I think that's covered that brilliant. Let's dry that off. There 
Because we're going to come in with the blue edging, I don't want it to smudge the gold, so that's why I made it a bit runnier as well. That looks fine to me. So if I show you that base again now, that could be enough for you, if you wanted to just put that on there now, I mean that's lovely on its own, but it's just me, I prefer to come around them, I like to edge everything. So this is, um, I've gone back in the Blue Lagoon. And I will go back in with Twilight um, Versapine as well, Versapine Claire. So it's picking up the same as what's around your circle. Yeah, and it's not it's not smudging that blue, so that's fine. It actually picks more of the writing up as well now. I do love how it's just like part of a, a wreath. I mean, you do get wreaths for just bottom bits, don't you? Something I'd never made, I think I should have a go at it. A proper one, I mean. I don't even buy one because I don't even have anywhere to hang one. Right, just this corner and then I'll come in with the twilight and then we'll stick it down, it's done. See, I think that makes a massive difference. Oh, I think that's beautiful, me. Maybe not so much gold. Might have done a bit too much gold. And my twilight. I'm lifting it up a little bit just so I can really just want it on the edges. I should run it through my pad, but I've done that before and got too much. Sorry, I've gone quiet, I'm concentrating. I think that's enough. Right, there you go. Stick it down. See what a difference. I think I've maybe gone put a bit too much gold on. 
I'm going to, I don't know how easy this is going to be to peel off. Let's just try it. I've no idea where this came from. Um, hopefully it'll rip. No. Oh, dear me. I'm sick of having to clean my scissors with it all. It'll do. Can't even get off my fingers. Probably the wrong tape to use. But it's too late now. It's nice and thick, isn't it? If you haven't heard me on my other ones, I'm just trying to get through all, all my rubbish tapes that I bought. Because I still won't part with them, but I've got rid of the majority now. Just got a few left. I've got this one and this one, which I've no idea where it came from. But this one doesn't feel too bad, actually. Feels alright, does that one? No idea where it came from. Put one there. I like the thickness of this. And one there. That should do nicely. Don't be dead, isn't it? Right, this is the test. Just getting it off. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm just going to do it in bits. like it when it comes off nice and easy that last lot I used that brown lot that you've seen me using oh what a nightmare I'd, I'd love to know where I've picked them up from in the past I think I've just been even cards that I wouldn't pad out I'd be padding out just so I can use them up right there's our base and um, I'm presuming this is going to be a one-time tape. So we're guessing if it's not right, it's staying. That's fine. I'll cut that edge off. But there you go. We did it. There you go, guys. Isn't it lovely? I do think uh, maybe a bit too much gold. If you look at the other one that I did. And it looks more gold by not watering it down. But I think they're gorgeous. We haven't finished. Um, I, I pre-cut these down already. So nice and simple. To you and yours. Do we want it across the middle? I thought it looked nice there. Oh, there was some with love. Well, if you've made a mistake, it's great to cover them up, isn't it? Merry Christmas. With love. I think that's a bit dark in the middle, do you? So we'll take them out in the middle. Um, what else did we get? We'll do it to you and yours. And the Merry Christmas. Could be quite nice, couldn't it? There, if you make a good mistake down there, you can proper cover it up. Yeah, let's stick them down. Let's go with a piece of this. I mean, these can go, if you're making them to post out, don't put the padding in them. Just make them a flat card. Nice and easy. Like I say, I'm literally making them all padded so I can get rid of some of the tape I've got. 
yeah I am going to put it and hope that that's quite essential didn't think I'd be making Christmas cards in May I always say if, if my mind's blank this is where I go although I do have a couple of ideas to do One of them is to do a full wreath, so we'll see. Right, guys. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to love you and leave you. I hope you like. I hope you like the way I covered up my mistake, because you can't see it now. Right, I'm going, guys. Happy crafting. Um, have a good day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.